Tonight, I'm going to introduce the bending working modes and general function of video link receiver RHFG version 2.1. First, bending. Video link RCAX transmitter comes with a RHFG receiver. They are already bound by default. And if you buy another new RHFG receiver, you need to bind them. And before bending, Please select correct receiver protocol in RCAX first. Enter the basic menu. Receiver setting. And then select FHS V1 or FHS SV2 protocol. Click receiver list here to check whether your current receiver belongs to FHS V1 or V2 protocol list. Here is V2 protocol. And we can see that RHFG version 1.0 does not support FHS SV2 protocol. RHFG version 2.0 and later versions support both V1 and V2 protocol. And this is RHFG version 2.1 it supports both V1 and V2 protocol so I select FHS as V2 protocol confirm when FHS as V2 protocol is selected servo speed will appear on the screen here is the setting method for servo speed after the protocol is selected by the Power on the receiver. You can plug the power supply battery into any one channel of the eight channels. But pay attention, the power supply battery cannot plug into the telemetry port because the telemetry port is only for battery telemetry. It cannot be used to supply power. So I plug the battery into channel 4. It is, it is powered on. Um, the LED flashes now. Keep a distance of about more than 60 centimeters between the transmitter and receiver. And there is a tiny black button on the side of the receiver. Press and uh, hold it until the LED flashes first. The solid light at the receiver indicates the bending is complete. And the signal tower on the screen of the transmitter shows that bending is successful. And if bending fails, the LED of the receiver will keep flashing slowly. Repeat the bending steps. Two working modes. There are four working modes for R8FG, version 2.1 including ordinary PWM mode, sparse mode, gyro mode, gyro and the sparse mode. Check the chart for more details of the four working modes. And you can confirm the current working mode by the LED indicator corner of the receiver. And it is green for PWM mode, red for gyro mode, blue for sparse mode, red and blue for gyro and sparse mode. Short press the bending button once to turn on or turn off the sparse. The LED indicator is green, ordinary PWM mode now. Short press the bending button once to turn on the sparse. Press it once. And the color is changed from green to blue, which means it is sparse mode now. And you can press the bending button once again to go back to PWM mode. Short press the bending button three times fast to switch the gyro on and off. The LED indicator is green, ordinary PWM mode. And short press the bending button three times fast to turn on the gyro.
And now the color is changed from green to red. Gyro mode now. And if you want to gyro and sparse mode, you can press bending button once again. So I press bending button once again. Sparse is turned on, so it is sparse and gyro mode, which is blue and red. 3. Gyro function. RHFJ variant 2.1 is installed in our car now. The steering servo is connected to channel 1 and the ESC to channel 2. The gyro function is already turned on by pressing the bending button three times fast. Here, the LED indicator color is red. And red LED indicator indicates that the gyro is enabled. After the gyro is on, you can check if the gyro direction is reversed. Generally, when the gyro function is turned on, the wheel will turn left when the car is turned right, and the wheel will turn right when the car is turned left. So turn the car to the left quickly. And we can see the wheels turns right. And also turn the car to the right quickly. We can see the wheel turns left. So the general direction is correct. If the wheels moves in reverse, and you can press the bending button twice to change the general direction. And the red LED flashes twice means the gyro reverse is corrected. When using RHFG with RCAX, gyro sensitivity can be adjusted by DL1 in channel 8 by default. And the mix menu. Gyro mixing. And mixing is turned on. Channel 8. And the gain switch is DL1. You can also assign other switch or other channels to adjust the general sensitivity. And turn DL1 to adjust it. Or you can press plus or minus button here to adjust the sensitivity. And the general sensitivity can also be adjusted and viewed in the home page here. So that's all about the bending working modes and general function of RHFG variant 2.1.